One of the most significant aspects of a golf course is the uniformity of its putting greens. Today we will be demonstrating how to use a stint meter. A stint meter is a tool used by golf course superintendents to get a standard measurement of the relative speed of the greens. However, in order to use a stint meter you will need the following items. A stint meter, three golf balls, a measuring tape, and two markers such as a coin or a tee. Now we're going to show you how to use the stint meter. First, select the level area on the green, several feet wide and approximately 10 to 12 feet on the level area. Since this is an instructional video, we'll be showing you on AstroTurf. Hold the stint meter by the notched end. Insert a T to act as the starting point. Rest tapered end on the ground, aiming the stint in the direction you wish the ball to roll. Place the ball into the notch and slowly raise the end until the ball releases. Hold the stint meter steady while the ball rolls down the device and until it reaches the putting surface. Repeat three times with three different golf balls. All three balls should come to a rest no more than 8 inches apart from one another. Measure from your starting point to the middle ball and that will be your average speed for that side. Insert a second tee at the average stopping point of the balls. The second tee will act as another starting point where you will roll three more golf balls in the opposite direction of your previous measurements. The distance between the two tees is the length of the first series of rolls. Repeat step three, finding out the average speed for the second set of balls rolled. Measure the two distances, one for each series of ball rolls, and calculate the average. This is the speed of your green. In conclusion, the purpose of the stint meter is to evaluate the surface of a green and see if improvements are needed to help keep the surface as consistent as possible for play. A stint meter is an important instrument for a superintendent to use to help ensure this. It allows the superintendent to measure how their greens are doing speed-wise and whether or not any cultural practices need to be implemented to help improve the recordings. With regular use of this tool, superintendents can ensure that their greens are at the desired playing speeds.